Near the outlet of Duwanai Lake in the valley, the terrain gradually opens up. Because of the low humidity, plants don't grow tall here. That means the dry air can easily soften the topsoil. It's the perfect place for burrowing creatures. It's time to forage. The little ones begin to emerge from the ground. The plateau pika is the most common species in Hoshil. It looks like a mouse, but is actually a close relative of the rabbit. With its powerful forelimbs, it can dig intricate burrows with multiple entrances, allowing it to hide from predators at a second's notice. The grass near the lair has been depleted, so these plateau peakers have to forage farther afield. But it's not easy. The grass is already thin, and now, the Picos have one more rival. But Plateau Picos possess unique survival skills. Excellent digging skills enable them to find fresh roots in the earth. Recent research shows that in areas where food is scarce in winter, plateau peakers can even feed on undigested plants in yak feces. Not exactly an ideal food, but at least something to keep the animals alive. At noon, after a hearty meal, the Picos sit back in the sunshine and let their guard down. Predators sense opportunity. Far from the safety of their burrows, they are unaware of impending danger. Fortunately, alarm is sounded just in the nick of time. But sadly, not soon enough for some inexperienced young peakers. They pay dearly for their inexperience and hesitancy. But once again, the greatest threat to the Plateau Pika's survival is not predators, but environmental degradation. Unable to travel long distances in search of alternatives, the end of the meadow could spell the end for these little creatures. And as an essential link in the food chain, the fate of many more of the animal inhabitants of the plateau hangs upon the survival of the Pika's.